See No Evil, Hear No Evil is a film that was recommended to me because it was apparently brilliant. So I thought I'd check it out and I have to say it is much better than I expected. The premise sounded really interesting but I was worried that the type of humour wouldn't be for me. But apart from a few very ludicrous scenarios as the film progresses, I thought it was pretty enjoyable. This was released in 1989 and it's directed by Arthur Hiller and stars Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder as Wally and Dave, respectively. And Dave is deaf and Wally is blind. And they meet each other by accident when they both witness a murder. One hears the murder, one sees the body. And together they realise they're in a very tricky situation and they get themselves into all kinds of chaos thereafter because they know that people have seen them witnessing this murder and they have a lot to do to try and get themselves out of serious trouble. Obviously because one is deaf and one is blind, everything is more complicated than it would be in a normal film because there are many films where people witness murders and, you know, trouble ensues. But this one just takes it to a whole new level. It's also worth pointing out that for quite a while, neither of them knows the other one is deaf or blind. And first of all, that does make it quite funny to begin with. But there does get to a point where I just think, well, why don't you just say I'm deaf or I'm blind? Everything would be easier. But I guess everything would be resolved significantly more quickly and the film would be quite lacking. Honestly, I do enjoy this film. I did think it was good and actually I'd watch it again. The comedy is a little silly at times for my personal preference. I prefer witty dialogue. This is, well it, actually it's not all visual humour but it's, it's um, I think it's kind of easy access which works. It really works for this film. This is one of the only films that I've seen Gene Wilder in that isn't Willy Wonka so that was really refreshing. I think this was the first Richard Pryor film I saw Kevin Spacey's in it, it's got a pretty decent cast, the acting was good, obviously the acting from Pryor and Wilder was phenomenal, they're playing really difficult roles, particularly I think Pryor, because playing a man who had, being a man with sight, playing a man with no vision is not going to be an easy task, because your eyes naturally go to where the action is. And I think he did an absolutely phenomenal job. And the same with Wilder and not necessarily just absently turning towards where the action is. I think they were both plugged in very well and they did a great job. So would I recommend it? Absolutely. I do think it's great fun. I think it's going to become, well, it probably already is a classic. I think it will become a timeless classic. I think it's something pretty much anybody can enjoy because the premise is simple enough but in execution is quite complicated and it works really well. See No Evil, Hear No Evil is a brilliant premise and I do think it's got a fantastic execution with some brilliant performances and I, I was right, it was right to be recommended to me. I really did enjoy it.